join me Richard here again and before I forget let me just say if you're looking at this on LinkedIn or Facebook or YouTube follow me to subscribe to give me a thumbs up just stay with me on these videos I really really appreciate that and that way you get these videos as soon as they come. you know I've been an organization and, and human development consultant for over 20 years and I've worked with companies in about 36 countries but you know what's the amazing thing about all those experiences I have the opportunity to support the growth journey of so many individuals and so many organizations and I really do not take that for granted really there's nothing else I'd rather be doing in terms of a career I joined LinkedIn back in 2007 I had to think about that for a little bit my friend Sid Sewak sent me uh, a request uh, back in 2007 and I joined on September 11 2007 so thanks for that Sid you know today I have about 5,000 uh, connections on LinkedIn and I had decided early in 2018 I was gonna do uh, a video on a regular basis you know I didn't define what regular would be but I said I'd do a video I knew uh, that there's a projection and this is useful for you to know that by 2020 about 70% of the, the data that's utilized online will be because of video people looking at videos it's a preferred way to absorb content and to get information and as if by magic Paul Garrick Bronson. Paul Garrick Bronson came with his four in four challenge. He gave an interesting statistic. He said only half of 1% of individuals on LinkedIn post on a regular basis, and then only a fraction of that half of a 1% of the 500 million users on LinkedIn post video. Now that's important. And what Paul is saying with his challenge is that if you do one video a week for four weeks that's the four in four challenge he will comment on it now let's understand paul has over 120,000 connections he comments on it it moves that video up and more people will be able to see it which has really good possibilities and impact for your own career and your own profession so i want to be on that paul i'm going to say challenge on i'm taking on the challenge and i want to challenge a couple of my friends a few of my friends Shane Ram, I want to challenge Sid Sewak and I want to Charlie Pedro to get on the 4 in 4 challenge. Just be sure to tag hashtag 4 in 4 challenge. I have a commitment that in 2018, I'm going to make one video a week. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it takes time to get this done. And also, it will depend a lot on where I am in the world. You, know, you don't always have all your stuff with you, so there are all those challenges. But these videos are going to be about only two things that I've picked up as I've worked my career over the last 20 years. As I've walked the planet, as I've worked with leaders and managers all over the world, groups, teams, I've helped organizations put in signature culture, signature service cultures, uh, whether we've planned strategy, whether we're doing change management, team building, whatever we're doing, uh, lots of lessons I've picked up over the years and I want to share some of those with you. The second set of lessons that I'm going to give are life lessons. You know, as a consultant, as a business owner, uh, lots of lessons as a husband, as a father, lots of lessons I've picked up along the way. Just as a human walking the planet, there are lots of lessons I'd love to be able to share those with you. And I want to share the first one today, and that is consistency. You know, too many people give up way too soon. They get frustrated. They don't see the results quick enough, and they say, oh, I'm tired, I'm going to give up. No, you shouldn't. You see, if you stick with something long enough, it will reveal its secrets to you. I'm dyslexic. I failed high school twice. How do you go from, uh, well, you don't go from dyslexia, that remains, but how do you go from having failed high school twice with dyslexia uh, to being a global consultant, working with organizations in over 35 or 36 countries? How do you do that? Well, it's not because I've gotten any brighter or smarter. It's not that, it's just if you stick with something long enough, the brain begins to wrap itself around whatever that something is and over time, it will reveal its secrets to you. The brain is made up of neuroplasticity. And so what actually happens when you learn is that the brain is different on the other side of the learning. Actually, the definition of learning is that the organism itself changes. So if you stick with something long enough, after a while, you get really good at doing whatever it is. Don't give up. If the seeds don't germinate right away, don't give up. Stay there. Water the seeds. Stick with it. Don't give up. If you stick with something long enough, if you are consistent, you're going to get the kind of success that you want. I want to leave you with something that I'm known for. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. See you soon.